Spring break is around the corner and some of us are gearing up for a road trip to enjoy a vacation and maybe even visit some relatives. Sometimes long car rides can be a bit nerve wracking, especially when we hear the dreaded repetitive question, are we there yet? You know, you may want your kids out of your hair and occupy so that you can focus on driving, but you know you also don't want them to spend the whole drive on their tablets or playing electronic games. Well, I have just the thing for you. Stay tuned for five fun Wi-Fi free games that you can enjoy for long car rides. Hey there, it's DDSLP with Spirit Speech Consulting. I am a speech language pathologist who encourages, motivates, and inspires moms towards powerful positive parenting in a dangerous digital age. I walk with them in systematically creating an environment that fosters developmental growth and success that their children will benefit from for years to come. So that you can get more tips, tricks, and resources, please hit the subscribe button and you will see my videos a lot easier. Also, if something has resonated with you, please like, comment, and share this video with others you may know that can benefit from this information. If you would like to follow me on other platforms, you can find me at Spirit Speech Consulting on Instagram, and I have an amazing Facebook group called Pandemic Mama where we lift each other up, provide support, and share our wins because you know what? It's tough out there in these mom streets. So hop on over and join the conversation at Pandemic Mama on Facebook. All right, let's jump on in for the five Wi-Fi free games that you can enjoy for long car rides. Number one is I Spy. This is a game that is widely known and you may have heard of it before. In this game, one person chooses an object that has been seen on the road or in cases such as drives through the desert, thinks of an object that can be spotted on the road and says, I spy with my little eye, something that begins with the letter. And then you state the letter that the object begins with. The other person will have to guess what that object is. This is great for building deductive reasoning skills, improving grammar, and it's just a fun, fun game, and you can do all of that at the same time. Number two is Road Trip Scavenger Hunt. This game will require some prep work before the trip. So mom or dad can write out about 10 objects you expect to see on the upcoming trip. These can be things like a motorcycle, a mountain, a squirrel, a specific bird like a cardinal or blue jay. And I say specific because you don't just wanna say bird or a Volkswagen Beetle. Back in my day, we used to call them slug bugs or any object of your choosing. So you would create a game board by finding pictures for these objects for your little game players. And for the older ones, you can use pictures or write them out on the board. The first person to get all of the items checked on the game board wins. This will keep your child occupied for hours as they search for items along the trip. This builds attention skills because the child has to search and attend to the things around them. Number three is the alphabet game. Now this one is my favorite. In this game, you will say something like, I'm going on a picnic and I'm going to bring, or I'm going to a party and I'm going to bring. And you begin with the first letter of the alphabet, such as, I'm going on a picnic and I'm going to bring an apple. The next person will have to say apple and then their object that begins with the letter B. So for example, the person would say, I'm going on a picnic and I'm going to bring an apple and a banana. You continue down the alphabet by remembering each object and adding to it. For older children, you increase the level of difficulty by saying something like, I'm making a meal and I'm going to serve and the person will have to name food items only. That's gonna be a little more tricky. The last person standing is the winner. This game builds memory skills and is a fun way to keep your child's mind off how long the car ride is. The fourth one is the license plate game. 
The goal of this game is to spot as many license plates from different states as you can. Whoever sees a plate first calls it. Make sure to have a person writing down the different license plates that were seen and who spotted them. This game has gotten so competitive with my two boys when we took road trips and it kept them busy for hours. They kept their eyes peeled to find different license plates. This also builds concentration skills and helps your child to stay focused on tasks. All right, we're down to our fifth game and this one is Who Am I? With this game, one person thinks of an animal or person. The other players takes turns asking questions to find out who or what the person is thinking of. You can ask any yes or no questions, but can only guess the identity on your turn. This builds deductive reasoning and critical thinking skills. All right, I hope this helps with fun ways to pass the time without having to use electronic devices. It's also a great way to build lasting memories and make the car ride a lot more enjoyable. We sure enjoyed it and had such a great time doing it. Have a great time on your spring break. Be safe out there and we'll see you next time. Bye.